Hello. In the previous tutorial, we used radio buttons to create a form where the user could select one option from a list of different available options. That was using radio buttons. And we also used JavaScript form validation to check whether an option had been selected before the form could be submitted. In this tutorial, we'll be using checkboxes instead. And the difference between checkboxes and radio boxes is that checkboxes allow the user to select multiple options, so more than one option, whereas radio buttons only allow the user to select one option from a list of different options. So we have two parts to the code here. <coughs> we have a function called is checked, and then in the body section of the page we have a form. And the form is asking the question, which country would you like to visit most? Once the form is submitted, the user will be taken to submission.html page, so another HTML page. The method is get, and when the form has been submitted, a um, value from the isChecked function will be returned, which we'll have a look at in a sec. So when the user cl clicks on the submit button, it will go through that function and check whether all of these, or whether any of these options have been selected. So the options are, there's a few different countries there, India, France, Japan, Sweden. So the input type for each option is checkbox. The, um, each option or each answer is in the group called countries, so it's given the name countries. Their values are given, and then for each option they have their own unique ID. And then the actual text label next to the checkboxes. So there's four different options, India, France, Japan and Sweden. And they're all under the group called countries, and they all use the checkbox um, input type. Okay, and then there's a submit button at the bottom of that form. And on submit, or when the form is actually submitted, it will run this function called is checked. And this function has four variables, one for each uh, of those options, India, France, Japan, and Sweden. And each variable is equal to document.getElementById and then um, the actual um, element ID is used as an argument for each of those, so India, France, Japan, Sweden. And then it's using the dot check property. So it's, it's seeing whether that option has been checked or not. So whether the user selected India as the, the country that they would like to visit, or France, Japan, or Sweden. Then there's an if statement. If India, so this variable, if that is equal to false, in other words, checked, the um, check property is false, so it has not been checked or selected by the user. If that is equal to false, and if France is equal to false, and Japan is equal to false, and Sweden is equal to false, then alert the user with this message saying, please select the country. So basically, if the user has not selected an option, then they'll get an alert message saying, please select the country. And this function will return false to the form, so the form will not be submitted yet. Otherwise, if the user has selected at least one option, and they can select more than one option if they want, but if they've selected at least one option, then it will return true, and the form will submit the data. Now, in this example, it's not actually submitting the form data anywhere. It's not being used, but if you were to set it up um, properly, then you could use that form data in some way. Let's run the code. Run this file. Launch in Chrome. And this is what we get. So which country would you like to visit most? Now, <clears throat> there's checkboxes. So if there's maybe two countries that you'd like to visit the most, then you could select those and click on Submit. All right, and then it will take you to that other page. Thank you for submitting your data. Now, notice that at the when you take into the submission.html page, notice at the end of that at the end of that URL it's appended the data that you've submitted. So countries is equal to India and countries is equal to Japan. So there's um, multiple options being selected there. And it's using the get method. I could also check Sweden. Uh, or I could select all of them. So as long as at least one of those is selected 
the form will submit. But if none of those options are selected, then we'll get the alert message, please select a country. Okay. This country, this um, question should be phrased a little bit differently. It should say which countries you would like to visit because you usually only use checkboxes um, when there's only, when you're going to have more than one option available that can be selected. Okay, so checkboxes are usually used on forms where there might be a question, do you agree with the terms and conditions? And you can tick yes. But they're also often used when you're going to um, allow the user to select more than one option. If the user was only to select one option, so they could only have one country that they'd like to visit, then you would use radio buttons instead of checkbox buttons. Okay, so that is how to use um, checkboxes in a form and also how to um, validate that they have been checked. Thanks for watching.